Here are five things you need to know about the pentatonic scale. Number one is that there are five positions of the pentatonic scale all down your neck. The first one you probably learned is here on the fifth fret going five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, and there is nothing wrong with playing that position for the rest of your life. It's been used by legendary guitar players for decades. But if you ever want to expand your soloing capabilities, you're going to want to take that shape and start to move it down your fretboard, connecting these other five shapes of the pentatonic scale. For example, the next position up, which is 8, 10, 7, 10, 7, 10, 7, 9, 8, 10, 8, 10. Which leads me to number two, that there is a major and minor pentatonic scale, but not really. As you start to learn more pentatonic scale shapes, what you're going to understand is that each of them is going to have a root note in a different position. As you start to play different shapes of the pentatonic scale, you'll learn that your root note is going to end up in different positions on different strings. The root note is the first note of your scale, and so in the first position of the pentatonic that we just learned, it makes sense that we start with our root note right here on A. This makes it an A minor scale. Funny thing about root notes is that if you use a different note as your root, let's say this eighth fret, you're actually changing the identity of the scale. It's no longer a type of A scale because you're starting on C. So now it's a type of C pentatonic, but it's not C minor because the makeup of these notes with C creates a C major pentatonic scale. What this really means if you think about it is that when you play this A minor pentatonic scale shape, you're actually playing two scales at the same time, the A minor and the C major pentatonic scale. And you can look at the second position as a C major pentatonic too because it naturally starts with this C note. So when you ask Ask yourself, what am I supposed to play, the major or the minor pentatonic? Well, it's really all about perspective. You can just stick to one pentatonic scale all across the fretboard and make sure you're lined up with the key. The third thing you need to know about the pentatonic scale is all in the name. It's a five note scale, and when you play it on guitar, you obviously play a lot more than five notes. This can cause some confusion as to how you're supposed to play the scale and where you're supposed to play it on your guitar. If you can simplify your thinking and understand that at the end of the day, this is simply just five notes repeated over and over, and you can even count them one, two, three, four or five, and then the shape just repeats all down your fretboard, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, be able to visualize the pentatonic scale a lot better. The fourth thing you need to know is why the pentatonic scale is the way that it is. Our normal scales are called diatonic because they contain seven notes as opposed to the pentatonic which just contains five. So what are the two notes that you took out? Well, you can compare an A minor scale with an A minor pentatonic scale, and you'll notice that the notes that are taken out are always within a half step of some of the other notes. They create this kind of ugly sound within the scale itself that we call a tritone. So by removing the tritone from your diatonic scale, you're creating a sound that's a lot smoother and easier to listen to. And this is the reason why the pentatonic is so easy to solo with. It's really hard to get bad sounds out of the pentatonic scale over any set of your diatonic chords. But on the other hand, what this means is that in a way, you're sort of lacking some of the tension and color that you get out of a diatonic scale. So a good balance of this could be to start with pentatonic, but every now and then add back in those notes from that diatonic scale that you're missing. It might be a good way to bring some pizzazz back into your play. The fifth and final thing that you need to know is that if you play this pentatonic scale over a set of major chords in the same key, you're gonna be creating the blues. This defies a lot of logic because when I play in first position, I'm playing A minor pentatonic. And if you play an A minor over an A major, you would expect a lot of clashing, like it shouldn't work. And yet that's the entire sound of the blues on guitar is playing this minor position over a set of major chords. Chords. But unfortunately for you, it doesn't really work the other way around. We haven't tuned our ears to a type of music that creates a major pentatonic scale over a minor set of chords. For example, if you play a major pentatonic over a set of a minor sounds, it's really just going to sound kind of ugly. To do with all this information? I don't know. Go out, make some friends. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I'm just the guy that talks a lot, okay? Make sure to head to my YouTube channel at Official Will Ash. I am now uploading long form videos of all of this content with more information than you'll get right here on TikTok. You can find the link in my link tree and you can also follow me on Instagram where I'm also posting exclusive content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys for the next.